Hello, and welcome back to the final Let's Play of Sonic Generations with me, TK. And in this final and last part, which is going to be going on for 21 minutes, okay, we're going to go against, well, the big, big huge, down, I don't know, time down. eater of all of Sonic You're Generations. But he happens to be anything, focused or functioned by freaking Dr. Eggman. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, and there's the little Eggman, or the original Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, I miss him being called Dr. Robotnik, don't you guys? Dr. Robotnik was, like, awesome, and, like, I don't know, I remember just scratching ground, all like, Dr. Robotnik, and just, ah, oh, it, well, it was awesome when he was Dr. Robotnik. But anyway, here's his, um, plan. Or how it came to be. And it takes place exactly right after Sonic Colors. Now, you can see, uh, Obot and Orbot, I can't remember their freaking names, Cubot and Robot or something like that. But basically, they're not in the game, which actually surprised me. But I think they're waving to him, or, they, or they're they just all like, hey, you forgot us, or whatever. But basically, they're, they weren't in this game, so I guess he just kind of ditched them. Which I wish he wouldn't, because I like the demo. Um, Urbot actually appeared in the rounder one. He appeared in Sonic Unleashed, but not under that name or the same personality. But anyway, blah blah blah. I, I, apparently, it's like um, let's play logic to allow the cutscenes to speak. But I'm all like, no, fuck that shit. You know, if you guys want to watch a playthrough of it and watch the cutscenes, I advise you to like look on YouTube because you can watch them in 20 times better quality. Because the only, I mean, you already gave me a view watching this video. It's just that I'm just saying, like, if you guys want to watch the cutscenes, watch them somewhere else. Because this is my Let's Play. You're supposed to hear me and my amazing auto tune. No, I mean, I, I fucking hate using auto tune now. Even though I get people telling me to, oh, use it in all me and a couple other LPs. And all. Like, I don't know. Me and Brad FF7 were talking about it. <sighs> but I can't just keep talking about myself. Basically, he mechanized the Time Eater from space. And it's too much for Sonic to handle, obviously, because it can control fucking time and space. Like, um, in Sonic Adventure 2... Uh, yeah, in Sonic Adventure 2, we fought something out in space, and in Sonic 06, we fought, like, an interdimensional demon and shit. But, I mean, I guess this one was actually kind of smart. <sighs> but, uh, I just... Ah, I just don't like this final boss. He's not even all that gimmicky. I mean, normally, like, when you get a final boss, you would get, like, something really, really awesome. Like, the final boss of Sonic Unleashed. I can't remember his name at the moment. But you get this one, who's just basically made of clocks in darkness. And somebody said that this boss is, like, a perfect personification of, like, all the Sonic fan base or something. Really bland and very, very annoying. And not cool to look at. <laughs> But I think the fan base is recovered. Anyway, everybody's coming in and trying to cheer us on. And little Eggman doesn't know anything about all these new characters. I think he knows who, who Knuckles is. But I don't think he knows who Blaze, Cream, and Silver is. I don't think a lot of people know who Silver is. Apparently, his uh, freaking, uh, his, like, fan, fanness has went up. I don't know, I can't. His popularity went up ever since this game because, I mean, now he's like one of the funnest boss fights. Anyway, it's time to live and learn as we get the greatest freaking awesome power up from all seven emeralds. And that is Supersonic. Two Supersonics. You get Little Sonic and you get Big Sonic. And my god, is this boss fight really, really, really terrible. I'm only saying that because of the way it's executed. It's just, uh, it's just terrible. And I know, like, normally, like, like you guys don't want to watch, like, long videos and shit, because I sure as hell don't. I, I like showing off the boss fights, like, as long as they need to be. But you gotta also take in consideration that I'm showing the credits right afterwards as well. So if I was, like, I don't know, if YouTube still had its original time limit, I probably would have, uh, you know, I would have cut them into two parts. Anyway. Um, throughout this boss fight, let me just get this out of the way, um, Tails, he modified his, I don't know, Sonic's face or something so he can talk to them while they're in time in an uh, infinite void of space. Yeah, this boss fight is just terribly executed. The only thing that's good about it, like, all you gotta do is just rush into him. 
but it, it never actually tells you exactly what to do because there's like no homing attack. You just rush into him. And when you get closer to him, he can back away when, or he is trying to smack you down and just, you know, you don't really have a good grasp on when you're getting closer to him. Another thing too is that the rings come a lot more fast. Like they just, they're on the screen for a small, por a small portion of a second. So you only got a few frames to know when to get those rings. See, look, you just, you zoom right past them, and you barely can see them. If anything, they should have gave you, like, something to fly through, and then that would have gave you more rings, because the rings is what, like, you need, because if you run out of rings, you end up dying. But, anyway, the boss is going to try to push you back and push you forward and whatnot using different levels, elements and stuff. Like, he threw the truck from City Escape, he threw a mountain from whatever you call it, and he's shooting homing shots, and Everybody keeps repeating that. Shut up! Oh my god. Another cool thing about this boss fight is that you can switch dimensions, but I'm not gonna do that just yet because I find that unnecessary because I can never hit him switching dimensions. Another thing, too, is that um, most of the time, uh, all you gotta do is keep rushing towards him and you'll eventually hit him. There's no definite time when you'll hit him. I think there's like a zone that you'll meet. See, look. I just almost got him, but like, I obviously wasn't close though. Now he's just gonna back away. I'm slowly running out of freaking coins, and I just got it. Like, by luck, I managed to get coins. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, on a lot of forums, this boss fight, like, people talk about it and say it's terrible. And that, like, the way it's executed, like I just said, it is terrible because, like, there's no definite way of getting to him. I'm just trying to spam the boost button, just trying to get close to him, and I just can't. Another thing you can make Sonic do is to blow up through buildings and crap is to um, shoot little Sonic out at him. But I don't even know if that does anything. That just breaks through buildings. Which you can easily avoid yourself. So, that's pretty pointless. Uh, I wonder if I die at this part. Hmm. I'm curious. Well, I managed to get him in the last 8 seconds. And I guess when you manage to do that, when you manage to do that, basically they'll give you a little bit more time or they'll pretty much stop time. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm managing to get all these rings, man. This is all just purely luck. <sighs> but, yeah. He's going back on the other side of the dimensions again. Yeah, I really don't think I'd do it in this boss fight. Like, I, I don't know. I recorded this about two days ago. Yesterday, I was having a lot of fun because it was my friend's birthday. So, I'm sorry if I didn't upload this. I'm sorry I have a life. Nothing too, though. If you manage to pass by a long thing of rings... Oh, shit. If you manage to um pass through a big thing of rings, you're always going to manage to get a lot of rings, but I find this so unnecessary. He has the ability to stop time, or slow it down at least, and then, like, it slows down our ring time, and basically the game just slows down. There's really no point of it. I guess it's just to expand the moves out, but you don't lose any rings. It's not like the time goes down any faster, but... So I, I, I don't even see the point of that attack. It doesn't do anything. So look at it. My coins aren't even going down. I think even the um, actual time for this level is going down slower. So what's the point of this? He's still moving slow. I guess I actually think that's more helpful if you are able to avoid like all the stuff that he's shooting at you. And you'll know exactly where the rings are too. And my god, yes, I managed to hit it. Jesus Christ. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. I guess you gotta hit him when he's like surf. I mean, his uh, little orb ball is right in the stomach. Uh, I'm running out of things to say about this boss fight. Wah. Well, I can at least say that he's not too hard if you manage to be lucky enough to avoid like all of the shit that he throws at you. Plus, um, I, I guess, like, it's cool to actually finally have Eggman as the final boss of a Sonic game. He was the final boss of Sonic Colors, but in this type of, in these type of games, like, like, normally, like, he's always trying to create a monster or tame a monster, and it's, like, always, always, always gonna backfire on him, and it happened on Leash 2, so, it happened in the DS version of Colors with the mother of all the wisps. And it's just like, eh, at least we finally get to see fully, full aware that Eggman and his other little Eggman, they are awesome. And they can still do stuff. They're not a belittling villain. 
if you have seen Sad AM, just know that that freaking show is awesome, and he was voiced by Jim Cunning, and he is also uh, the voice of a lot of other villains. But in either case, in the final part of this battle, just hold down L and R1. Or if you press playing the 360 version, just hold down R1 or R and L, the right trigger or left or trigger, whatever. Anyway, by doing that, you'll trigger this cutscene, you cut through him, and then he dies and explodes in a little bit. Fucking giant ass black thing of nothing. So yeah, this whole boss fight just took like 10 minutes, and I could have just like I should I should do that. Nah, shit. I, I want to get this LP done. Then again, it won't be 15 parts, and 15 is sort of my favorite number. And I was just a uh, one letter shy of an A. Oh well. Anyway, once we beat him, no big dramatic cutscene of us returning in time. Just Sonic is just back, and he catches Hot Dog, which a lot of people like. Anyway, there's Little Sonic now. And I guess everybody else just kind of morphs back into the birthday. Even um, some of the rival characters like Silver and Shadow. So yeah, we got the whole crew here now. I remember like, when I first seen this cutscene that they were celebrating freaking Sonic's birthday. I was like, where's Shadow and... S well, not Silver. Fuck Silver. But I love the anime type of little things in the Sonic games. But uh, I'm going to be missing this game. Actually, I just miss Sonic in general. I miss like how like all the games used to have big focuses on the speed element, not like platforming. I don't know. It was great teaming up with you. <sighs> but I guess I don't know. I really want to just sit back and like let the Sonics talk. But I'll just tell you what Sonic's saying. He's basically like congratulating his uh little self and basically saying that he's gonna be awesome when he gets older. Then he tries to do the boost in the air and it fails. But at least he's managing to do something. And he's right, like, no matter how many times you try, you're only gonna get better. I think. I don't know. Fuck. I'm, I'm not a good philosopher. Anyway, that's their guys' home. I mean, that's their ride home. <laughs> they didn't put a cutscene of, uh, the Little Tails being introduced to modern Tails, by the way, so... Just in case you guys didn't know, and don't think I just skipped it out, because they said due to time constraints, they couldn't do that. You guys had, like, more than a year to work on this game, though. I'm pretty sure you guys could have squeezed into something. Anyway, that's the end of the game. Yeah, it just kind of ends after that. Anyway, like, if you can see on the right, you can see, uh, they're going to be showing a montage of all the Sonic games. Starting from Sonic 1 all the way up to Sonic Colors. Or maybe Sonic 4, I'm not sure. But I like what they did. They pretty much like took every single track and then they like mixed them together, and it's just, it's cool. Or at least they segue into them really coolly because I think like they don't mix anything on the Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic Adventure 1. I don't think they do anything to those, but I think it's kind of cool that they managed to do it with all these other Sonic games. But yeah, we're done. Credits. I I I'm, I'm happy. Not really, but somewhat. I'm just I'm. I'm done with this game, and like I felt like Kirby, uh, whatever you call it, Kirby 64 took me forever to do. This only took me like probably two weeks if I like uh, uploaded a video every single day. Let me just say this: it just took me all of February to do this. But yeah, I'm happy. I got some more subscribers. Uh, more like 17, probably 20. And I think, like, a lot of people have been leaving comments all like, oh my god, you use autotune. And I'm just all like, yeah, I do. Um, so I think that might be a gimmick. I don't know. It's not a gimmick, but it's something to stand out so people can just have a wow factor. But I know it's going to be a, a, a non-wow factor for all my old subscribers or people who are already, like, subscribed to me. But you got to know, whenever you find something new, like, you got to get that wow factor. I remember when I first started watching AVGN, like, I was just like, wow, man, this guy is amazing. Like, everybody else has probably been on, like, the same episodes. I mean, the, the, his later episodes and shit. Like, they're probably all like, oh, he's old news. He's not all that amazing. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it. Anyway, uh, since these credits are really long, because they got to give everybody tribute from all the previous games that Sonic starred in, I'm pretty sure they had to do that. Uh, I will give a little review of the game, or just at least talk about, like, my overall feelings about the game. Sonic Generations, which really is just like a game for all the Sonic fanboys that makes references to all the um, Sonic games of the previous games. Um, I think this game could have been executed differently. 
Like, it just would have been nice, like, if you just played as one Sonic, personally. I only say that because, I mean, like, I hate the way Little Sonic plays. He sucks. And I don't even like the freaking shields and whatnot. I, I, like, you can unlock those by, like, doing the missions that involve them, and then you can buy them at the store. But I'm just all like, ah, no, no, no. Man, just, I, I don't think he was necessary to add in. If you guys are going to make Sonic play the same way, they should have just, like, added in two different types of the level. Like, I don't know, one Green Hill Zone, Act 1 and 2, and I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, and add in more elements from Emerald Hill Zone. And then they would go on to uh, Sonic, Sonic, uh, I don't know, colors or something. And then they would add in, like, uh, some more freaking elements from Cookie Mountain. I just, I wish it would only have one Sonic, because I only like to playing as modern Sonic. And I personally think we would have got the nostalgia factor the way it was supposed to be handed to us by complimenting the old games instead of us reliving the old games, you know, like playing as Little Sonic, which I didn't like. But I don't know, how did you guys feel about this game? Do you guys think it was good, or did you think this game was bad? Because, I mean, like, I know, I know a lot of people that said they were actually very disappointed in this game, and I can understand why, because the story was lacking. There really isn't all that much to the games, like, the way it plays. It plays just like how, like, Unleash and um, all the other Sonic games pretty much play ever since they departed um, from the 3D version to the 2.5D version. So a lot of people don't like that, and like, I, I, I like it, it's just that like, I'm getting tired of, I would like to see a full 3D Sonic game, instead of all these little 2D sections. Maybe that'd be fun for bonus stages or something, or just add in another part of the level or something, but really, I don't, I just, I, I wish Sonic would just have more 3D elements, I know like, that's what like, drove, run the series down to the ground, but Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, they played perfectly. And they had only, they had 3D elements. Oh yeah, and fuck Sonic 06. Another thing too is the game is a bit buggy in some areas. And, I don't know, some people didn't like the uh, physics for uh, Little Sonic. Especially me, man, I, I thought his physics was fucking terrible. But, yeah, I want to know, what do you guys think of uh, Sonic Generations? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think the level select of it was stupid? Like how they had Green Hill Zone, Scrap Brain Zone, not Scrap Brain Zone, uh, Chemical Plant Zone, and then not Ice Cap Zone? Like, if you guys would have preferred different zones, put it in the comments. Like, which zones would you like to have seen in Sonic Generations? I don't know which one's going to be my freaking question, but I love how, like, in this part, they slow down the frame rates whenever he's jumping so the game wouldn't look as bad. <laughs> but, yeah. I can say this, man. I like Sonic as like a character, but his actual games are never nearly as fun as Mario games. Even that new Super Mario game for uh, 3DS, that's somewhat enjoyable. I really don't like it. It's like Mario Galaxy just without, you know, the galaxy. And with a raccoon with huge balls. No. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I always prefer playing Mario games because I think the music... Nah, uh, the music, they're both good on music ends, but... I don't know, the feel from a Mario game, like, it feels like it's meant to be a video game. All Sonic games nowadays just feel like, if you're not a Sonic fan, you're not gonna like it. But if you are, you're gonna love it. And I, like, they gotta stop catering to people like that. Like, stop catering to the fans, I know they're bitchy as shit. And I guess they're the people that still care about Sonic. I think Sonic has reached a level where, like, people are now interested into him. Like, people want to see Sonic now, like, as just, like, a great video game, not just as a great video game character. Because whenever people talk about Sonic games, they seem to reference the character a lot more than the actual how the game plays. That's why a lot of people are all like, oh my gosh, uh, Sonic, oh man, they got too many characters in this game. I only want a game with just Sonic. What difference does it make? Is the game fun? I thought Sonic Adventure 2 was fun because all the other characters were fun. Besides Knuckles' stupid fucking treasure hunting levels, but still. Man, I got a lot of flim in my freaking mouth. Man, I should have been, like, singing along with, like, all of, like, all these, like, little fucking themes and whatnot, but whatever. That's what, uh, that's where I kind of come in and say, like, I'm not gonna abuse Idletune. I just like it there just to be there. So people can know. And for me to just sing at the start of my, every time I do an LP. But yeah, I just, this game was okay, and I'm glad that you guys watched my Let's Play. And, I don't know, shit. I'm running out of things to say. 
Oh, and by the way, they uh, here at the end of the credits, um, when they have like these two people, or at the two conventions, Sonic Boom and Summer of Sonic, um, basically they got Sonic pretty much saying, or they got all the people there, the whole crowd, like saying Happy Birthday, Sonic. It's beautiful. Anyway, here's the final cutscene with Eggman trapped in a void of Are nothingness. You sure you saw a door over here? And there's Fat Eggman. I like this Eggman. He was like a little round. He actually looked like an Eggman. Now he's just a fat man. Oh, well, I guess you could refer to the little one as Robotnik and the big one as Eggman. But I wish they would have got like different voice actors to play them, though. They just sound weird talking to each other in the same voice. I love this cutscene. And it'll be the exact same but you know what, guys, man, uh, it, it was good doing this LP, but you know what, I'm just going to clear out and, like, let you guys uh, see some of the secrets at the end of this game. Um, also, I want you to leave in the comments if you like Sonic Generations. And, yeah, I, I enjoyed doing this LP, and I'm probably going to start using Autotune a lot more often. So, heads up for my next uh, freaking LP, and it's going to be for the Nintendo DS, so I'm hoping that I can record this the way I want to, and hopefully I see a lot more comments and likes on my videos. And views. Yeah, fuck subscribers. I just, I just want people to love me. So write to me, subscribe to me. We just unlocked Supersonic in the game. And this has been Sonic Generations with me, TK. I'll see you guys next LP.